Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So today we will be solving the problem recover a binary search tree. Now what does the problem state? The problem states that you will be given the root of a binary search tree and in that uh, that root will be representing a complete BST. Now you would be knowing what is a BST. A BST is a binary tree where you have the node and everything to the left of that node is smaller than it and everything to the right of that node is greater than it that is uh, what is the property of BST now what is the question states the question states that whatever BST is given to you in that there are two nodes which are swapped okay now your job is to correct the BST for an example if I say that okay is this a valid BST the answer to that will be no why because this is 3 and everything to the right of it should be greater than 3 but there is something as 2 which is smaller than 3 so if I if I do one thing like if I just take this and if I take this and I swap now is this a valid BST yes this is a valid BST so what we did find is you are given a BST where like it's already mentioned that there will always be two nodes swapped now remember this there will always be a case where two nodes will be swapped so over here two nodes uh, not more than not lesser than that two nodes will be swapped so we saw that the nodes that were swapped was this and this so the moment i swapped the values now this is indeed a valid bst so the question is very straightforward you'll be given a root which represents a bst uh, but that bst will have two nodes swapped so you have to correct the bst and return uh, basically you have to just correct the bst you don't have to return it because if you just uh, correct it that should be okay so basically make sure you uh, change the uh, swap the notes so so how do you solve this problem what is the extreme brute uh, method that comes to your brain the extreme brute method that comes to my brain is one thing I know for sure is if I do a in order traversal if I do an in order traversal for the given BST then uh, the in order will not be sorted because there are two notes which are swapped so what I can do is I will do an in order traversal yes any traversal uh, for that reason like you can do any traversal it can be pre order post order just make sure you sort that traversal yes just make sure you sort that traversal once you sort that traversal it will be the correct in order of the BST that you want after swapping like the correct BST not the swapped one this will be the correct in order now once you have the correct in order what you can do is you can simply traverse yes you can simply like what is in order it's left then it's node then it's right so you basically go to nodes uh, left then to nodes right now you go to nodes left and nodes right and this is where you do the business because this is where you visit the node so whenever you're doing the business just make sure is this node equivalent to your in order like you can keep a pointer you can keep a pointer like for an example if I ask tell you in this if I just would have done it in the sorted order it would have been one two three four correct and uh, the tree was something like uh, let me just quickly draw the tree the tree was something like three one four and then two so what you will do is you'll keep a pointer here in the brute force and then you'll start the in order so the first node the in order visits will be one so that's correct perfect the next node that the in order visits is 3 but over here it is 2 so what you'll do is you'll just make this guy 2 perfect next node the in order visits will be over here and you will be over here which is 3 so just make this guy 3 the next node that the in order visits will be here and that's correct so just make sure you uh, run a pointer across the sorted uh, values and just make sure if they are incorrect you just change those values so in this way you can get the perfect yes you can get the perfect uh, BST but what will be the time complexity now you have to do any traversal be it in order be it uh, post order that's a big o of n then you're sorting that's an n log n and then you are again doing a traversal and uh, comparing with this so I can say uh, the time complexity will be uh, 2n plus n log n and the space complexity will be big O of n if I'm not including the auxiliary stack space for recursion. This is what 
the time complexity and space complexity will be now what are the problems over here i am using an extra space in order to store this particular in order which up which i am i'm not comfortable like i'm not okay with and then i'm using an n login factor there's a login factor that i'm using again uh, that is something which the interviewer will never want so this is the moment you have to come to a better solution now let's talk about the better one now coming to the better or the probable solution for this problem now what if i say you that hey listen if if i just write the in order of the given incorrect bst like in which the notes are swapped if i give you an incorrect bst then you can definitely get the in order and that will hardly take a bigo of n traversal now there can be two cases if i'm saying that two notes are swapped if you think it of a sorted array because generally the in order is sorted in a bst since the in order is uh, sorted you can think that in the sorted array there are two elements that are swapped right two elements that are swapped and we are basically solving a problem to figure out those two elements that are swapped correct now what can be the cases there can be two cases that comes to my mind the cases are okay assume this is uh, the incorrect sorted order over here there are two nodes swapped and they're not adjacent like 5 and 25 25 and 5 these guys are swapped but they're not adjacent they're not uh, adjacent to each other and that can be one of the cases the other cases that might come to my mind is swapped nodes are adjacent now when i say that hey listen there are two nodes which are swapped so 7 and 8 if you just uh, put them then it will be a correct sorted order so there are two cases like if you think in terms of array like if an array is sorted and you're just uh, swapping two elements then there just can be two uh, cases where you swap the non adjacent elements or you swap the adjacent elements so i have figured out that there can be two cases now what did we say we say that hey we're going to do an in order but do we require to store the in order i don't think that i don't think so because if i can somehow yes if i can somehow figure out which are the two nodes swapped i think my job should be done now you'll be asking me how now whenever you're doing an in order traversal yes in order traversal that's left then you go to the node then you go to the right so this is where you do all the business because this is simple uh, node dot left recursion call and this is simple uh, node dot right your recursion call and this is where you do the entire business when you visit the node now can i say first time the visit will be to 3 next time the visit will be to 25 next time the visit will be to 7 i can next time the visit will be to 8 now in this way the visit will be there but can i say can i say if i'm visiting yes i repeat if i'm visiting and i see that hey i come to something which is 7 which is not greater than the previous element because over here i am at 7 but the previous element was this but 7 is not greater than the, than it then can i say that that hey this is the first element which is a violation i can so you can definitely mark it as the first element which is a violation and you can also store this saying this was violated with 7 okay now i have stored the first element that is violated let's move we have 8 again that's correct because 8 is greater than 7 we have 10 that's correct because 10 is greater than 8 we have 15 that's correct because 15 is greater than 10 next we have 20 that's correct because 20 is greater than 15 next we have 5 the moment i have 5 this 5 is not greater than 20 so can i say this is the second violation can i say this is the second violation where i did figure out an element that is not greater than the previous element so whenever there is a second violation i repeat whenever there is a second violation there is no need to store the previous element you can store this so what you have done is you have stored the first violation couple of elements and i have stored the second violation element now this guy this first guy and this last guy assuming i'm calling it as first and last you can simply swap them right so whenever you are doing the business over here like doing the in order traversal you can keep a track of the previous node and the current node and you can just simply compare if this 7 is greater than this 25 or not if it is not you say that the previous guy is the first violation 
and you can just go on in this way now you might ask but striver what if there is not a second violation i think uh, this answers uh, this is a good question if i if i come to this that will answer you if there is no second violation let's see so the in order traversal will come to 3 that's okay next will come to 5 that's okay next will come to 8 okay next will come to 7 the moment it comes to 7 it sees 7 is not greater than 8 if you carefully see 7 is not greater than 8 so there is a violation so it is violated with 8 and 7 right so you can store them next you go to 10 not violated 15 not violated 20 not violated 25 not violated so you see that 10 is okay because 10 is greater than 7 15 is okay because 15 is greater than 10 20 is okay because 20 is greater than 15 25 is okay because 25 is greater than 20 so there is no violation so no second violation rather so can i say that i have got my violations as only these like this is the only pair which is violated so what you will what you can say is it's an adjacent because you did not find any second violation so thereby you say this these guys are the adjacent pairs and you can simply swap them so if you swap them you will get that correct now if there was a second violation in that case if you call this as the first if you call this as the middle if you call this as the last then you'll just swap the first and the last the middle is of no more use i'm just storing the middle just in case i do not find any second violation then in that case first and middle will be swapped that's the reason i stored this guy as well as this guy i could have stored just 25 but just to make sure there's a case where the swap, uh, swap nodes are adjacent you have to maintain that case as well so just make sure uh, whenever you're doing your node like whenever you're doing your business over here this is a simple recursion call the entire business will be done whenever you print the node whenever you visit the node in, in order traversal make sure if it is not greater than the previous then the previous becomes the first and the current node becomes the middle and if it's the second violation then the current node becomes the last guy that's it as simple as that so i hope you have understood the core logic so if i ask you the time complexity it's very simple what you do is a simple in order traversal and while visiting the node you do the entire business and what about the space complexity i can argue that you are going to do a recursive call so it's a stack space but again there is always a morris traversal that you can do so let's let's assume the space complexity is big of one because we generally do not assume the recursive stack space and if the interviewer says hey i'm i'm calculating recursive stack space then you can tell him that hey sir there is a morris traversal which we can definitely use in order to get the better uh, big of one space complexity now so it's now time to check out the c plus plus as well as the java code so as usual the c plus plus code is on the left and the java code is on the right and they're extremely identical so you can just follow one code and after i have explained you can check out your language code so i'll be discussing the c plus plus code so what i have done is i have declared member variables now the, these are not global variables because it's declared inside a class i have declared them as private so these are member functions or member variables you can call them so what i've done is i've declared uh, first previous as well as middle and last now you can understand what what previous is for basically whenever you're doing an in order traversal previous will make sure key was the last guy in the in order right and first is first violation middle is the uh, that just sent one and the last is the last uh, second violation so let's check out so you're basically given a root correct what i do is i make sure all these guys uh, first middle last are marked as null now previous will be something initially you can take it as int mean because the first element in in order is always the smallest so you can take a smaller value than that that's int mean now what you do is you do an in order traversal so let's go to the in order traversal then we will check out line number 49 and 50 now in the in order traversal as you know if the root is null you stop and if you go to the left and then it's a very simple task this is where you do all the businesses yes, this is where you do all your business now is the business quite simple yes it is if you say that hey listen there was someone who's who was previous it's not the first node then i can say there might be a violation then when when can there be a violation if the current node is someone who is indeed smaller right because from the previous because i know for sure in an in order traversal the next guy has to be greater so if it's smaller or smaller than equal to uh, then it's a violation now is it the first violation 
or is it the second violation? If it's the first violation, then first will be null because the, it's the first violation. You need to store both of them. If it's the second violation, then you just store the node because that is all it's required. If it's the first, you store the previous guy as well as the commit. Now, once you have done the in order, can I say you would have stored first, middle as well as last if you remember the diagram? Now, what you do is if there were two violations, then there, there will be a first and there will be a last. So you swap them. And if there is not, then there will either be a first and middle you'll swap them. That is how simple it is. Yes, a simple use of first and middle will do the job. So guys, I hope you have understood the entire explanation as well as the code. So just in case you did, please, please, please make sure you like this video. And if you're new to this channel, do consider subscribing because I keep on bringing such kind of content. And yeah, with this, I'll be wrapping up this video. Let's meet in the next one. Bye-bye. Take care.